Hello, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We are gonna be talking about if Necessaire is necessary. I've tried out five of their core, most beloved products. Some of them I loved, some of them I think are a total waste. So we are gonna be jumping right into whether or not they are worth the money, what you should get, and what you should pass on. If you're new here, my name is Isabel. I make videos about skincare, makeup, luxury goods every once in a while, and lifestyle. If any of those things interest you, feel free to subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have any, oh my gosh, I almost dropped everything, any future brand that you want me to try all the best products and let you know. I'm also going to shamelessly plug right now that I actually have a blog and I wrote a blog post describing all of this. So if you're more of a reader or if you want to read more in depth on certain brands of makeup, of skincare, check it out. It's isabellux.com. Let's just jump into today's video. I am going to be ranking these products from worst to best. Some of them are so good, I would repurchase it again and again, and some are so bad, this last one in particular, that I forced myself to use it up quickly just to get it out of my space. And I have held onto the bottle ever since so that I could make this video. So in absolutely last place is the body lotion. Now I did get it in fragrance free. Every product is available as a fragrance free. But the body lotion you can also get in a eucalyptus scent, bergamot, and sandalwood. Number one issue with this product is the packaging. It's lightweight, yet it stands on its head, so it knocks itself over constantly. I have never had a body lotion that has created such havoc in my bathroom space as this. Because once you start using it, the air just puffs in here and it gets really kind of light and bulky and it knocks over everything in its path. You put it down, you come back in the next morning and it is like a bowling pin. It has knocked everything down. And that seems like a weird reason to dislike something, but just trust me, it is so bad for that reason. So that's literally issue number one with it. Issue number two is the formula itself is nothing to write home about. If I bought this for $3 at Dwayne Reed and I got the same formula, I wouldn't be surprised. It absorbs into the skin fairly quickly but it does nothing else after that. In fact, 30 minutes later, you don't feel like you've moisturized at all, which is not my goal. I like to moisturize right before bed and wake up in the morning and feel just rich and soft. And this does not do that. This just disappears. So the formula is lame. The packaging is lame. It's also like, in my opinion, ugly. I get the minimalist packaging, but this just doesn't work for me. So for this last place, I do not recommend. In second to last place is their regular body wash. I got it in the scent Eucalyptus. There are definitely some good things about this, but overall I would say it's just honestly not worth it. This product is the reason why I got all of these products. This one was so hyped up on Instagram especially. Every influencer had their shower and this was in their shower and I was like, you know what? Let's give it an honest try. There are some good things about it. I really like the packaging. I like that the top opens up like this and then you can squeeze it out and then you can close it up. It's very easy. You're not dropping caps in the shower, which I find very frustrating. No parts here can go missing or lost. And the, the material inside, the soap itself, is very liquidy if you can see that. So you're not waiting a long time kind of taking the soap to get it out. So those are two good things. The eucalyptus scent on this, and I did get something else with the eucalyptus scent which is entirely different. This particular eucalyptus scent does not smell good to me. It smells very synthetic, and I love fresh eucalyptus. I often buy eucalyptus for my shower, so I know what it should smell like. It should smell spa-like, a little bit kind of dirty in a way, in like a rich way, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and this is lacking that. It's lacking that really natural aroma. I don't love it, I don't think it's worth the money. I think if you're gonna be spending, I don't remember how much this is, I'll put it on the, on the screen. If you're gonna be spending that much money on a body wash, there are definitely better options out there. It's very plain. Um, again, this is one that I'm kind of forcing myself to use to get it out of my space. So this is almost done. It's interesting, the more I like something, the less I use it. Figure, figure that one out for me. But yeah, I don't love this and don't recommend it. This is second to last place. Right smack dab in the middle is the body exfoliator. Now, I also got this in the eucalyptus scent, which is interesting because this eucalyptus scent is entirely different from the body wash that I just mentioned. This has a beautiful, natural aroma. It really lingers in the air. It lingers on your skin in the best way. For that reason alone, this is worth it. This smells 
so good. It turns your bathroom into a spa. I absolutely love it. I also want to note that the actual texture of the product is so aesthetically beautiful. It's a clear base basically with these dark greenish brown exfoliators inside and every time I squeeze it and I look at it, I literally feel like I'm in a movie about myself. I never feel like I'm the main character ever. When I use this, I do. I feel like, wow, I am the main character queen. Of all the products, this feels the most indulgent to me. So actually, of all of them, including my two that I rank higher than this, this one does give you that fancy feeling. So if you're looking for that fancy feeling, 100% go for it. In second place is a product that you never knew you needed until you tried, and that is the Body Serum not to be confused with the moisturizer. This is an entirely different type of product. And the only way I can describe it is it's sort of like applying a hyaluronic moisturizer before applying an oil-based moisturizer. It does exactly that. So I apply it before I apply my favorite moisturizer. And I'm not kidding you, my skin feels 10 times thicker. Like it feels 10 times better. It makes anything I apply afterwards kind of stick down in this like amazing way. I just love it. I mean, it's very plain, I will say. The applicator is a pump, which I like because it feels very clean. You're not like constantly having to flip up and down a moisturizer or squeeze it out. You just pump it out like this and I like that. I mean, otherwise there's nothing much to note about the actual packaging. It's, you know, it's plasticky white and black, but the actual formula inside is what I'm writing home about. I'm telling you, once you start using this, you will never want to go back. Coming in hot in first place, and I'm incredibly surprised to be sharing this, is the body oil. The actual oil on here is the greatest body oil that I have ever tried, and when I say that I'm a body oil fanatic, I am. I have tried every possible body oil that I can get my hands on. I also want to note, this is the first uh, body oil that I've ever tried that comes in a, in a dropper form and you get just the right amount every time and it's not messy. One problem with oils, in my opinion, is you're constantly going like this and then you're grabbing the whole bottle and everything in its past gets oil on it. Every product around it, your, every, you know, everything that shouldn't get oil on it gets oil on it because you're constantly turning it around. This is like you literally just have to take two oily fingers, squeeze it, use it, so only the, the top part gets any kind of oil on it. I can't, I can't go into this product enough other than absolutely you should be getting this. I completely recommend it. And that is my quick yet complete review on the products that I've tried from Necessaire. This is obviously not sponsored. I actually do have a link, I believe, with them. So if you're interested in shopping, I would obviously really appreciate it if you clicked on my link. But I really so much appreciate you clicking on this video. And again, subscribe if you're not. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.